Let's take a look at this assignment 9.2, the office stack and cap. This is tutorial number three coming from exploring Autodesk Revit for architecture. And what it likes us to do today, let's focus in. We're going to be making these three levels onto our assigned floor plan from the office. And how to begin. Uh, we're going to understand more about floors. We're going to read the requirements and the due dates, and then we're going to go ahead and select, double-click the 06 office that comes from the textbook. And while that loads up, and here's the image that we will get. Uh, it's the three-dimensional of the office. And one thing you'll notice is you can see, I'll, I'll use my view cube here, you can actually, there's no floors in here. It's deceptive because in the, in the 3D view, let's go back to our, our 3D view, double click, need to reset. Here's the other house. Okay. You, you couldn't really tell. Like I thought this was an open atrium at first, but here we go. Uh, we're going to, we have this image and we're going to go and go to our first floor view. And we can see one of our most recent uh, office where we put in the windows and some of the doors. Let's go ahead and add a floor to this particular model. So in the first floor, we're going to add the floor and the ceiling, but the first thing we'll tackle is the floor. So along here will be the ceiling and the floor. Uh, it gives you a little explanation. We'll go ahead and click on it. You can see here's the check arrow if I accept this floor, the X if I change my mind and, and have to redo it. Are needed other commands are we want to extend it into the wall core and that will put it in in the middle here next tool that sometimes takes a little finding is let's go ahead and pick we're going to go ahead and pick this by choosing either by making our own boundary if we choose to sketch it in ourselves but this time we're going to use our pick walls and with the pick wall, we can just go ahead and we can lay this down. We can see our magenta line forming, and as it should, forming in the middle of the work, joining the wall to the floor, and we'll complete this. And what, one thing we know about floors, roofs, and ceilings is that once that bounding box is complete, then you are complete to go ahead and add. So I'm going to... This is how I work, just so you know. I always have one of these floating around, just so I can have a full palette. But back to our topic, we'll check out the floor right now. It's the 12 inch, but we're gonna modify that. But first I'm going to select, because I'm happy with the overlap. Okay, next thing I get is this blue screen, and that lets me know I've done things correctly. These are the pocheted walls, the walls in white. Uh, but we know that the floor is rolling underneath them, but it's showing us that these are at a higher elevation than the blue. Okay, going back to our textbook, they would like us to do uh, lightweight concrete on metal deck. And we'll choose this one because they didn't specify, so we'll choose that. And I've selected the lightweight concrete, and now we'll go in and you can see the stipple, the little dash marks that appear on the ground, indicating that it is the concrete. Okay. Now we're going to copy this floor to upper levels. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have to work with. Go back to that 3D view. And again, I'm looking down the barrel, and I can can I see I see one floor in there, but all this other stuff is getting in the way. So the nice feature that we have, we can go to view, we can go to visibility graphics, and I'm going to turn off those walls so I can just have a clear shot at the the floor that I'm working with. So I'll choose walls, I'll choose apply. And, and and actually take a look in here. You can see all the things I can turn off. It's very handy. 
So when I do have that, then I can see that I just have the walls and I, I could have turned off the windows, but we'll use those for reference. So here is one floor to work with. So let's start copying. And it's easy as we're going to select this wall. We're going to come up to copy. And let's get to our... We're going to copy. And then I've switched over to my modify toolbar, which gives me access to this clipboard feature. So I have already chosen copy. So I'll choose it one more time. Copy to clipboard. Next thing I'm going to do is come back to the clipboard. And I'm going to change, I'm going to look at the options I have to paste. And one, the one we want is called align to pick level. But before we do that, we have to get to our elevation view. So let's go to our elevation view. And like I said, I keep this floating just because I use it in different areas. Let's go to north, elevation view, double click. Uh, and here I also need to go back to visibility graphics uh, just to help me see what I'm doing more clearly. Walls, we're going to turn off. We're going to apply and say OK. And I can see here, here is a floor, and none of the other levels have that. So we're going to go ahead and do our visibility graphics, go back to our modify tool, go to paste, align to pick, align to selected levels is what he wants. No, align to pick level. Okay. So we're going to go here and we're going to choose. We, and you can see that these are eager for it. So they highlight or click in there. And voila, voila I have a, a floor. Let's do it again. Maybe one more floor. And this is the other option that you'll see in the future. But we're just going to choose what it tells us to do, align to pick up to... selected level so this is we're hand selecting but if you wanted to do it faster you'll see in the next assignment you're going to do selected levels which means i could have chosen the same things uh, by choosing these words but this time we'll do it by picking so let's see what we have let's go to that 3d view without the walls that's looking good let's it let's attach our walls back visibility graphics back in view and as you get more familiar with it these buttons will get easier to pick which is what's happening to me i'm finding a lot, a lot easier to move around there and now i don't have that atrium view i do have a solid floor in there and i consider that uh, a success we're going to do one more function which is to add the ceiling so let's get started on that now, here's a word of caution. We're going to go to our floor plan view, but it's easy to get confused here, so I'll open this up and point it out to you. There's a thing called floor plan first floor, but then there's also a thing called ceiling plan first floor. What's the difference? This is the actual true floor plan. The true floor plan will show the things that we worked on, the door locations. It'll show beneath it. it ceiling plan is going to be more blank because you're looking up at the ceiling so if you imagine yourself looking up and you're not going to see the door hinges because that's that's up there at the nine foot level and this is where we're going to put in our ceiling so anytime you get a a, a funny looking picture but you go ahead you might be on the ceiling plan thinking you're at the first floor it's a common accident so let's take a look at architecture Instead of the floor, we're going to choose ceiling. And ceiling is a little bit more different. Let's see what kind of ceiling it's asking for us to take. Okay, a thing called compound ceiling, GWB on metal stud. So we'll choose that. And there's a, you do have a choice. You could sketch the ceiling in, or, or I would have to go in and use my bounding tools and sketch with this boundary line. Well, we're not going to need that today, so we're going to go back. 
go back to choose the automatic ceiling we're going to make an adjustment here as noted in the book it wants this to be nine feet off the ground a little bit more headroom and, and having selected when they come highlighted you'll see that that they create a grid uh a, the ceiling grid uh, these used to take a long time in autocad you said to offset them uh but here this is done simply uh very well done then we're going to go ahead and save the project and we're going to move on to the next thing which is to show uh, the different levels the section view that's been created uh, so you have to do the ceiling for each floor and what you'll do is you'll go first floor we'll get one see our ground floor uh, doesn't have one let's add that in ceiling ceiling has got the nine that's going in Okay, so that has one. Roof doesn't need one. Let's see what the second floor is like. Second floor, I had put one in earlier. Okay, so how can I take a look at what I've done? Uh, I've used this particular section tool. This is easy to create. You can get one here. Uh, but this also shows up in your annotate. You can go get, get one here. But now let's choose the one in the home bar up here because this is a quick access tool i'll show you how to make one uh, this is the flag end we'll take the flag this is creating a view for me so when i go into modify i can come in here double click on it to get that section view and so let's examine what i've done uh, we can see floor here is the thicker one let's change our visibility graphics so that we can really get in a better deal. We're gonna do that fine. Remember that takes more memory, but it's really helpful when you need to clarify. And we can see the stipple that creates the floor concrete. Uh, we can see if there's a difference in the line size of the ceiling. Let's click on it, make sure it's the ceiling. So we see that the ceiling sits below the slab, below the slab, and then this below the slab and so all we'll have to do now is to cap off the roof uh, and that's yet to be so we've done very good so far so i hope this helps with the first part of this assignment